The post-Soviet states, also collectively known as the former Soviet Union (FSU) or former Soviet republics, and in Russian as the Near Abroad, discussed below, are the states that emerged and re-emerged from the Union of Soviet Socialist Republics in its breakup in 1991, with Russia internationally recognized as the successor state to the Soviet Union after the Cold War. The three Baltic states were the first to declare their independence, between March and May 1990, claiming continuity from the original states that existed prior to their annexation by the Soviet Union in 1940. The remaining twelve republics all subsequently seceded. Twelve of the fifteen states, excluding the Baltic states, initially formed the CIS and most joined CSTO, while the Baltic states focused on European Union and NATO membership. Several disputed states with varying degrees of recognition exist within the territory of the former Soviet Union, Transnistria in eastern Moldova, Abkhazia and South Ossetia in northern Georgia and Nagorno-Karabakh in southwestern Azerbaijan. Since 2014, the Donetsk People's Republic and Luhansk People's Republic in eastern Ukraine have claimed independence. All of these unrecognized states except Nagorno-Karabakh depend on Russian armed support and financial aid. Nagorno-Karabakh is integrated to Armenia, which also maintains close cooperation with Russia. Prior to the annexation of Crimea to Russia in March 2014, which is not recognized by most countries, it briefly declared itself an independent state. In the political language of Russia and some other post-Soviet states, the near abroad refers to the newly independent republics other than Russia itself which emerged after the dissolution of the Soviet Union. Near abroad became more widely used in English, usually to assert Russia's right to have major influence in the region, but also for marketing purposes by various companies. Russian President Vladimir Putin has declared the region Russia's sphere of influence and strategically vital for Russia. The concept has been compared to the Monroe Doctrine. Topic. Country comparison Topic. States and geographical groupings The 15 post-Soviet states are typically divided into the following five groupings. Each of these regions has its own common set of traits, owing not only to geographic and cultural factors but also to that region's history in relation to Russia. In addition, there are a number of de facto independent, but internationally unrecognized states see the section separatist conflicts below. Topic. General statistics Area includes land and water. Topic. Current leaders Topic. Heads of state Topic. Heads of government Topic. Economy The dissolution of the Soviet Union took place as a result and against the backdrop of general economic stagnation, even regression. As the Gosplan, which had set up production chains to cross SSR lines, broke down, the inter-republic economic connections were also disrupted, leading to even more serious breakdown of the post-Soviet economies. Most of the formerly Soviet states began the transition to a market economy from a command economy in 1990-1991 and made efforts to rebuild and restructure their economic systems, with varying results. In all, the process triggered severe economic declines, with gross domestic product GDP dropping by more than 40% overall between 1990 and 1995. This decline in GDP was much more intense than the 27% decline that the United States suffered in the wake of the Great Depression between 1930 and 1934. The reconfiguration of public finance in compliance with capitalist principles resulted in dramatically reduced spending on health, education and other social programs, leading to a sharp increase in poverty and economic inequality. The economic shocks associated with wholesale privatization resulted in the excess deaths of roughly one million working-age individuals throughout the former Soviet bloc in the 1990s. A study by economist Stephen Rosefield asserts that 3.4 million Russians died premature deaths from 1990 to 1998, partly as the result of shock therapy 
Imposed by the Washington Consensus, the initial transition decline was eventually arrested by the cumulative effect of market reforms, and after 1995 the economy in the post-Soviet states began to recover, with GDP switching from negative to positive growth rates. By 2007, 10 of the 15 post-Soviet states had recovered and reached GDP greater than what they had in 1991. Only Moldova, Ukraine, Georgia, Kyrgyzstan, and Tajikistan had GDP significantly below the 1991 level. The recovery in Russia was marginal, with GDP in 2006-2007 just nudging above the 1991 level. Combined with the aftershocks of the 1998 economic crisis it led to a return of more interventionist economic policies by Vladimir Putin's administration. Some academic studies show that many former Soviet republics and Warsaw Pact countries still have not caught up to their levels of output during the twilight of the Soviet era. Change in gross domestic product GDP in constant prices, 1991 to 2015. Asterisk economy of most Soviet republics started to decline in 1989-1990, thus indices for 1991 don't match pre-reform maximums. Asterisk asterisk the year when GDP decline switched to GDP growth. List of the present gross domestic product GDP figures are given in 2013 United States dollars for the year 2013 according to the World Factbook. Topic. Developmental progress The post-Soviet states listed according to their Human Development Index scores in 2017 the report was launched in October 2018, very high human development. Estonia, 0.871 Lithuania, 0.858 Latvia, 0.847 Russia, 0.816 Belarus, 0.808 Kazakhstan, 0.800 High Human Development Georgia, 0.780 Azerbaijan, 0.757 Armenia, 0.755 Ukraine, 0.751 Uzbekistan, 0.710 Moldova, 0.700 Turkmenistan, 0.706 Medium Human Development Kyrgyzstan, 0.667 Tajikistan, 0.650 Regional organizations A number of regional organizations and cooperating blocs have sprung up since the dissolution of the Soviet Union. Only organizations that are mainly or completely composed of post-Soviet states are listed in this section. Organizations with wider memberships are not discussed. The 15 post-Soviet states are divided in their participation to the regional blocs. Belarus, Russia, and Ukraine founded the Commonwealth of Independent States (CIS) in December 1991. It was conceived as a successor organization to the USSR, and in December 1993 it included 12 of the 15 former Soviet republics except the three Baltic states. It currently consists of nine of the 15 former Soviet republics, with one participating state Ukraine and one associate state Turkmenistan. Georgia withdrew from the CIS in August 2008. The three Baltic states have not sought membership in any of these post-Soviet organizations, seeking and achieving membership in the European Union and NATO instead, although their electricity and rail systems remain closely connected with former Soviet organizations. The sole exception to the above has been their recent membership in the community of democratic choice. The Central Asian states of Kazakhstan, Kyrgyzstan, Tajikistan, and Uzbekistan as well as Belarus are members of the CIS and participate in several regional organizations that have Russia as a primary mover. Such organizations are the Eurasian Economic Community later merged with Eurasian Economic Union, which Tajikistan and Uzbekistan are not members of, Collective Security Treaty Organization, and the Shanghai Cooperation Organization. The last two groups only became distinct once Uzbekistan withdrew from Guam and sought membership in Eurosec and CSTO which it subsequently withdrew from in 2008 and 2012, respectively. Armenia, besides its membership in CIS participates in Collective Security Treaty Organization and the Eurasian Economic Union. 
Ukraine, Moldova, and Azerbaijan participate in the CIS but other than that they mostly cooperate within regional organizations that are not dominated by Russia. Such organizations are Guam and the Community of Democratic Choice. Although Ukraine is one of the three founding countries of the CIS, it is legally not a member because it has never ratified the 1993 CIS Charter. Turkmenistan is an associate member of CIS having withdrawn from full membership in August 2005 and a member in the Economic Cooperation Organization, it has not sought closer integration in any of the other Western or post-Soviet organizations. In 2008, Georgia notified the CIS executive bodies of its decision to leave the regional organization, and according to the CIS Charter Sec. 1. Art. 9, this decision went into force 12 months after the notification date. Topic. Commonwealth of Independent States The Commonwealth of Independent States CIS consists of ten former Soviet republics that differ in their membership status. As of December 2010, nine countries have ratified the CIS Charter and are full CIS members Armenia, Azerbaijan, Belarus, Moldova, Kazakhstan, Kyrgyzstan, Russia, Tajikistan, Uzbekistan, one country Turkmenistan is an associate member and two countries Georgia, Ukraine left the organization in 2009 and in 2018. In 2014, Ukraine declined its CIS chairmanship and considered withdrawal from the organization. In 1994, the CIS countries agreed to create a free trade area, but the agreements were never signed. On October 19, 2011, Armenia, Belarus, Kazakhstan, Kyrgyzstan, Moldova, Russia, Tajikistan, and Ukraine signed a free trade agreement. Uzbekistan joined the free trade area in 2013. Topic. Eurasian Economic Community The Eurasian Economic Community EURASEC, formerly the CIS Customs Union, was established by Russia, Belarus, Kazakhstan, Kyrgyzstan and Tajikistan. Ukraine and Moldova have observer status in the community, however, Ukraine has declared its desire not to become a full member state. Because having common borders with the rest of the community is a prerequisite for full membership, Moldova is barred from seeking it. Uzbekistan applied for membership in October 2005, when the process of merging Central Asian Cooperation Organization and the Eurasian Economic Community began, it joined on 25 January 2006. Uzbekistan subsequently suspended its membership in 2008. On the 10th of October 2014, an agreement on the termination of the Eurasian Economic Community was signed in Minsk after a session of the Interstate Council of the EAEC. The Eurasian Economic Community was terminated from the 1st of January 2015 in connection with the launch of the Eurasian Economic Union. Topic: <laughs> Customs Union of Belarus, Kazakhstan and Russia. Russia, Belarus, Kazakhstan created a customs union that entered into force in July 2010. Ukraine, Kyrgyzstan and Tajikistan indicated interest in joining at the time. Russia has been eager for Armenia, Moldova and Ukraine to join the custom union instead of the European Union, and the Moldovan breakaway state of Transnistria has supported this. In 2013, Kyrgyzstan and Armenia announced plans to seek membership, but division over the issue in Ukraine led to the 2014 Ukrainian Revolution after the Ukrainian government backed out of an EU Eastern Partnership in favor of the Union. In 2014, voters in the Moldovan Autonomous Region of Gagazia rejected closer ties to the EU in favor of the Union. On 1 January 2012, Russia, Kazakhstan, and Belarus established the Single Economic Space, which ensures the effective functioning of a single market for goods, services, capital, and labor, and to establish coherent industrial, transport, energy, and agricultural policies. The agreement included a roadmap for future integration and established the Eurasian Economic Commission modeled on the European Commission. The Eurasian Economic Commission serves as the regulatory agency for the Eurasian Customs Union, the Single Economic Space and the Eurasian Economic Union. Topic: <laughs> Eurasian Economic Union The Eurasian Economic Union is an economic union of post-Soviet states. The treaty aiming for the establishment of the EAEU was signed on 29 May 2014 by the leaders of Belarus, Kazakhstan and Russia, and came into force on 1 January 2015. 
Treaties aiming for Armenia's and Kyrgyzstan's accession to the Eurasian Economic Union were signed on 9 October 2014 and 23 December respectively. Armenia's accession treaty came into force on 2 January 2015. Although Kyrgyzstan's accession treaty will not come into force until May 2015, provided it has been ratified, it will participate in the EAEU from the day of its establishment as an exceeding state. Moldova and Tajikistan are prospective members. Topic. Collective Security Treaty Organization Seven CIS member states, namely Russia, Belarus, Kazakhstan, Kyrgyzstan, Tajikistan, Uzbekistan and Armenia, have enhanced their military cooperation, establishing the Collective Security Treaty Organization CSTO, this being an expansion of the previous Collective Security Treaty CST. Uzbekistan which alongside Georgia and Azerbaijan withdrew from the CST in 1999, joined Guam. Then in 2005 it withdrew from Guam and joined the CSTO in 2006. On 28 June 2012, Uzbekistan suspended its membership in the CSTO. Topic. North Atlantic Treaty Organization Three former Soviet states are members of NATO, Estonia, Latvia and Lithuania. Georgia, where both public opinion and the ruling government favor NATO membership, is in the intensified dialogue program with NATO. Ukraine also declared joining NATO as its geopolitical goal once again in 2017 first time being right after the Orange Revolution and in the beginning of presidency of Viktor Yushchenko, after the presidency of Viktor Yanukovych, during which the government officially declared neutrality and ceased to seek NATO membership. Other states in the Partnership for Peace and Individual Partnership Action Plan program include Armenia, Azerbaijan, Belarus, Kazakhstan, Kyrgyzstan, Moldova, Russia, Tajikistan, Turkmenistan, and Uzbekistan. Topic. Guam Four member states, namely Georgia, Ukraine, Azerbaijan and Moldova established the Guam group that was largely seen as intending to counter Russian dominance in the region. Notably, these four nations do not participate in any of the other regional organizations that sprang up in the region since the dissolution of the Soviet Union other than the CIS. Topic. Union of Russia and Belarus The Union of Russia and Belarus was originally formed on 2 April 1996 under the name Commonwealth of Russia and Belarus, before being tightened further on 8 December 1999. It was initiated by the President of Belarus, Alexander Lukashenko. On paper, the Union of Russia and Belarus intends further integration, beyond the scope of mere cooperation, including the introduction of the ruble as a common currency. Other regional organizations Economic Cooperation Organization The Economic Cooperation Organization was originally formed in 1985 by Turkey, Iran and Pakistan but in 1992 the organization was expanded to include Afghanistan and the six primarily Muslim former Soviet republics, Azerbaijan, Kazakhstan, Kyrgyzstan, Tajikistan, Turkmenistan and Uzbekistan. Topic. Community for Democracy and Rights of Nations The post-Soviet disputed states of Abkhazia, Artsakh, South Ossetia, and Transnistria are all members of the Community for Democracy and Rights of Nations which aims to forge closer integration. Topic. Community of Democratic Choice The Community of Democratic Choice CDC was formed in December 2005 at the primary instigation of Ukraine and Georgia, and composed of six post-Soviet states Ukraine, Georgia, Moldova, and the three Baltic states of Estonia, Latvia and Lithuania and three other countries of Eastern and Central Europe Slovenia, Romania and the Republic of Macedonia. The Black Sea Forum BSF is a closely related organization. Observer countries include Armenia, Bulgaria, and Poland. Just like Guam before it, this forum is largely seen as intending to counteract Russian influence in the area. 
This is the only international forum centered in the post-Soviet space in which the Baltic states also participate. In addition, the other three post-Soviet states in it are all members of Guam. Topic. Shanghai Cooperation Organization The Shanghai Cooperation Organization SCO, is composed of China and five post-Soviet states, namely Russia, Kazakhstan, Kyrgyzstan, Tajikistan and Uzbekistan. The organization was founded in 2001, though its predecessor, the Shanghai Five Grouping, has existed since 1996. Its aims revolve around security-related issues such as border demarcation, terrorism and energy. Topic. Economic cooperation organizations Central European Free Trade Agreement CEFTA with Moldova it includes also non-post-Soviet countries of the former Yugoslavia, previously, also included other Central European countries that left CEFTA when joining the European Union. CEFTA plays a role in Central Europe similar to what European Free Trade Association EFTA provides in Western Europe for non-EU members. This alliance and economical organization with strong cooperation with the European Union, for countries that do not want to participate participate in Eurosec centered on Russia but that are seeking alliances to the West, even if Moldova is the only CEFTA country that is still within a weakening CIS, it no longer participates to the CSTO for most of the common security policy but cannot join the EU because of incompatibility with WEU stability rules and the unsolved problem of Transnistria but can still benefit from the free trade area notably with Romania and Bulgaria in the EU. Black Sea Economic Cooperation BSEC with Russia, Georgia, Ukraine, Azerbaijan, Moldova, Turkey, Albania, Greece, Romania, Bulgaria, Serbia and Armenia an economic organization closely related to the SCO but more focused regionally to include also Armenia, it also aims for the harmonious development of democracy for increasing the commerce in Southeast Europe and includes some EU members, so it cannot be a regional free trade union. The European Union EU, with the three Baltic countries that were the first ones to declare independence from the former USSR and have never joined CIS after the collapse of USSR it includes also now some post-communist countries in Central Europe, that have left CEFTA when entering the EU, Poland, Czech Republic, Slovakia, Hungary, Romania, Bulgaria and Slovenia. Topic. Political integration and security alliances Stability Pact for Southeastern Europe SP4C with Moldova similar in structure to CEFTA, but does not focus on economy but security. For those countries that are not NATO members, this organization largely cooperates with NATO, and is related to the Group of Observers at Western European Union WEU. The North Atlantic Treaty Organization NATO, for Baltic countries, Poland, and Central European countries that have also joined the EU the EU membership includes also WEU membership because they follow the common foreign and security policy and European security and defence policy policies shared now by the EU, the WEU and all European NATO members. The other remaining countries are those part of the former Yugoslavia, but their recent conflict and political tensions still does not allow them to cooperate efficiently for their political integration and for their mutual security. In addition, they still do not have full sovereignty in this domain some of them are still under surveillance by EU or NATO, as mandated by UNO. They still need to find an internal stability and they can collaborate economically with the help of other organizations focusing on economy or political cooperation and development. However a more limited cooperation for security is possible through their membership to the larger Organization for Security and Cooperation in Europe OSCE. The only exception is Belarus whose post-Soviet democratic transition did not occur that still rejects political integration, and all security alliances with NATO, OSCE, WEU or other countries in Europe other than Russia which the process of reintegration of Belarus has been tightened in almost all domains. Topic. Organizations in other domains Southeast European Cooperation Process SEECP with Moldova similar to SP4C, but focuses on political integration than cooperation for security, and to CEFTA but does not focus on trade. 
Southeast European Cooperative Initiative (SECI) with Moldova, closely related to SEECP. Central European Initiative (CEI) with Moldova, Ukraine, and Belarus, and also Central and Southwestern European countries in the European Union. It aims at helping Eastern European countries to reach the EU standards and cooperate politically and find a better economic development and a strong, working but more democratic legal system. It is the only regional organization where Belarus is still a member, but the political cooperation with Belarus is almost stalled, as it is the only country of the former communist bloc country that balances in favor of stronger cooperation with Russia and against integration with EU and NATO, however Belarus remains isolated and still does not cooperate too in the SCO group led by Russia and China. Black Sea Forum for Partnership and Dialogue BSF with Georgia, Ukraine, Azerbaijan, Moldova and Armenia also non-post-Soviet countries that are NATO members, interested in their maintaining political stability and avoiding conflicts in the region, Romania, Bulgaria and Turkey, whose first two are also now EU and CEI members, using EU rules for their political development. However this organization does not focus on helping countries to join the EU, but reaching common standards and good governance and internal stability and democracy like in the CEI. None of these organizations are incompatible with the policy required for accessing EU membership in the domain of political cooperation and development. Merging the CEI and BSF is desired by Central European countries, that are members of both often in addition to EU with stronger objectives that would like to simplify the development process, and also members of the Council of Europe that federates but at very slow pace all European efforts of political cooperation and development through the various regional organizations. Community for Democracy and Rights of Nations Topic. Other organizations. Apart from above, the former Soviet republics also hold membership in a number of multinational organizations such as Baltic Basketball League FIBA FIFA International Ice Hockey Federation International Olympic Committee International Paralympic Committee Continental Hockey League Belarus, Kazakhstan, Latvia, Russia Miss Universe UNESCO World Health Organization World Trade Organization Topic. Politics Regarding political freedom in the former Soviet republics, Freedom House's 2015 report listed the following Estonia, Latvia, and Lithuania as free countries. Armenia, Georgia, Kyrgyzstan, Moldova, and Ukraine were listed as partly free Azerbaijan Belarus Kazakhstan Russia Tajikistan Turkmenistan and Uzbekistan were listed as not free with Turkmenistan and Uzbekistan being noted as among the worst of the worst Similarly the Worldwide Press Freedom Index published by Reporters Without Borders in 2015 recorded the following as regards press freedom A good situation in Estonia a satisfactory situation in Latvia and Lithuania Noticeable problems in Armenia, Georgia, Kyrgyzstan, and Moldova A difficult situation in Belarus, Kazakhstan, Russia, Tajikistan, and Ukraine A very serious situation in Azerbaijan, Turkmenistan, and Uzbekistan It has been remarked that several post-Soviet states have not changed leadership since their independence, such as Nursultan Nazarbayev in Kazakhstan and Islam Karimov in Uzbekistan, until his death in September 2016. All of these had originally more limited terms but through decrees or referendums prolonged their stay in office a practice also followed by Presidents Alexander Lukashenko of Belarus and Imomaly Rahman of Tajikistan Askar Akiyev of Kyrgyzstan had likewise served as president since its independence until he was forced to resign as a result of the Kyrgyz Revolution of 2005. Sapramurat Niyazov in Turkmenistan ruled from independence until his death in 2006, creating a personality cult around himself. The issue of dynastical succession has been another element affecting the politics of some post-Soviet states. Haider Aliyev, after constructing an extensive and ongoing cult of personality, handed the presidency of Azerbaijan to his son, Ilham Aliyev. Theories about the children of other leaders in Central Asia being groomed for succession abound. 
The participation of Akayev's son and daughter in the 2005 Kyrgyz parliamentary elections boosted fears of dynastic succession being used in Kyrgyzstan as well, and may have contributed to the anti Akayev climate that led to his overthrow. Topic. Separatist conflicts Economic, political, national, military, and social problems have all been factors in separatism in the post-Soviet space. In many cases, problems due to factors such as ethnic divisions existed before the fall of the Soviet Union, and upon the fall of the Union were brought into the open. Such territories and resulting military conflicts have so far been Topic. Current declared states Abkhazia, which is de facto independent from Georgia. Tensions in the area broke out when Georgia sent in troops in 1992 to control groups who wanted separation. The troops and most of the Georgian and Mingrelian speaking population were forced out in 1993, and the region declared independence in 1999. The 2008 war between Georgian forces and the separatist and Russian forces led to Russia's recognition of Abkhazia's independence. Republic of Artsakh, which is de facto independent from Azerbaijan. Ethnic conflict between Armenians and Azerbaijanis began in 1988, and expanded into war which lasted till a ceasefire in 1994. Sporadic attempts at negotiating a final peace and sporadic bursts of violence have continued since then. Donetsk People's Republic and Lugansk People's Republic, unrecognized states which declared independence from Ukraine in 2014. South Ossetia, which is de facto independent from Georgia. The region declared its intent to seek independence in 1990, leading to a conflict which led to a ceasefire in 1992. Separatism became powerful after the election of Georgian President Mikhail Saakashvili in 2004, and a referendum in 2006 was in favor of declaring independence. The 2008 war between Georgian forces and the separatist and Russian forces led to Russia's recognition of South Ossetia's independence. Transnistria, which is de facto independent from Moldova. It declared independence in 1990, due to its majority Russian-speaking population fearing union with Romania. A ceasefire between Transnistrian forces and Moldovan forces has been in place since 1992, enforced by the presence of Russian forces in Transnistria. Topic. Former declared states Chechen Republic of Ichkaria, where Jahar Dudayev declared independence from Russia in 1991, leading to a violent war between local separatist forces and the Russian army. Russia first invaded in 1994, withdrawing after a deal for increased autonomy was granted in 1996. Tensions have continued in the years since then, and the conflict has spilled over into neighboring regions such as Dagestan, Ingushetia and North Ossetia Alania. Russia claims that the situation in Chechnya has normalized. Gagazia, declared itself the Gagaz Autonomous Soviet Socialist Republic within Moldova on 12 November 1989, and the Gagaz Soviet Socialist Republic, independent of Moldova but still within the Soviet Union, on 19 August 1990, but was reintegrated into Moldova as an autonomous region on 23 December 1994. Republic of Crimea. The entire Crimean Peninsula has been outside the control of Ukrainian authorities since late February 2014, when Russian special forces and pro-Russian militias occupied the region. In March 2014, a popular referendum in favor of accession to Russia was held in Crimea and Sevastopol, although Ukraine and most of the international community refused to recognize the vote. The next day, the Republic of Crimea declared independence, and within days Russia absorbed the peninsula. Ukraine continues to claim Crimea as an integral part of its territory. Topic. Civil wars Civil wars unrelated to separatist movements have occurred twice in the region. The Georgian civil war between the forces of Zviad Gamsakhurdia and Eduard Shevardnadze. The war ended after Russian forces intervened in support of Shevardnadze's government, which in turn agreed to join the Commonwealth of Independent States. The Tajikistani civil war that lasted between 1992 and 1997. Topic. Color revolutions 
Since 2003, a number of largely peaceful color revolutions have happened in some post-Soviet states after disputed elections, with popular protests bringing into power the former opposition. The Rose Revolution in Georgia, leading to the fall from office of Eduard Shevardnadze. The Orange Revolution in Ukraine, bringing into power Viktor Yushchenko. The Tulip Revolution in Kyrgyzstan, leading to the resignation of Askar Akayev. The 2018 Armenian Velvet Revolution in Armenia, leading to the resignation of Serge Sarkisyan. Topic. Russian population in post-Soviet states There is a significant Russophone population in most of the post-Soviet states, whose political position as an ethnic minority varies from country to country. While Belarus, Kazakhstan and Kyrgyzstan, in addition to Russia, have kept Russian as an official language, the language lost its status in other post-Soviet states after the end of the Soviet Union. It maintains semi-official status in all CIS member states, because it is the organization's official working language, but in the three Baltic states, the Russian language is not recognized in any official capacity. Georgia, since its departure from the CIS in 2009, has begun operating its government almost exclusively in the Georgian language. Religion While the Soviet system placed severe restrictions on religious intellectual life, traditions continued to survive. After the dissolution of the Soviet Union, Islamic movements have emerged alongside ethnic and secular ones. Vitaly Namkin gives the following assessment, throughout the time of change, Islam has served as a symbol of identity, a force for mobilization, and a pressure for democracy. This is one of the few social disasters that the Church has survived, in which it was not the cause. But if successful politically, it faces economic challenges beyond its grasp. The Central Asian states Kazakhstan, Kyrgyzstan, Tajikistan, Turkmenistan, and Uzbekistan plus Azerbaijan from southern Caucasus are Muslim, except for their dwindling Russian and other European minorities. The Baltic states are historically Western Christian Protestant and Roman Catholic, which adds another layer of pro-Western orientation to those countries, although the vast majority of what was the Protestant population Estonia and Northern Latvia there is now irreligious. The dominant religion in the remaining former Soviet countries Armenia, Belarus, Georgia, Moldova, Russia, and Ukraine is Orthodox Christianity. In most countries, religiosity has increased since the Soviet collapse. Topic. LGBT rights Topic. Environment Environmental degradation in the former Soviet Union is attributed to rapid industrialization and a lack of institutions that were able to curb pollution levels. Post-Soviet nostalgia Ever since the dissolution of the Soviet Union a certain number of people have expressed a longing for the Soviet period and its values. The level of post-Soviet nostalgia varies across the former republics. For example, certain groups of people may blend the Soviet and post-Soviet experience in their daily lives. According to July 2012 polling in Ukraine by rating, 42% of respondents supported the formation of a unified state of Ukraine, Russia and Belarus. Earlier in 2012 this support had been 48%. A 2016 poll of Russian citizens conducted by Levada Center showed that the majority viewed the collapse of the USSR negatively and felt that it could have been avoided, and an even greater number would openly welcome a Survival of the Soviet system. Topic. See also Community for Democracy and Rights of Nations, Eastern Bloc, Eurasian Economic Union, Operation Provide Hope, Organization for Security and Cooperation in Europe Statistics, Republics of the Soviet Union, Russification Russophobia Russophone Second World Topic. References Topic. External links Candid photos of the Eastern Bloc September–December 1991, in the last months of the USSR 
New Directions Post-Independence from the Dean Peter Krogh Foreign Affairs Digital Archives Post-Soviet Russia and its neighbor states from the Dean Peter Krogh Foreign Affairs Digital Archives Discovering the Centuries-Old State Tradition, Professor Pal Kolsto, University of Oslo Former Soviet War Zones, The Hazards of a Long, Hard Freeze, The Economist, 19 August 2004 Four Enclaves Post-Soviet Fate in Limbo, The Seattle Times, 20 August 2006 Our Independence Referendum's First Step Toward Kremlin's Historical Revanchism, Radio Free Europe, 15 September 2006